Web GPU support was merged into Bevy's main branch and will be available in Bevy 0.11. But what is Web GPU? To make a long story short, WebGL powers a lot of the fancy 3D applications you see on the internet today. But WebGL is also pretty complicated, so projects like 3JS have sprung up to build ecosystems around WebGL and 3D rendering technology to support writing 3D applications in the browser. But over the last few decades, amazing leaps have occurred in 3D technology. To see this, it's easy to look at graphics over the generations of video games that have occurred since, say, 2D platformers in the Game Boy Pocket era, all the way up to today's Lumite and Nanon applications with Fortnite and Unreal Engine 5. And this is where WebGPU comes in. WebGPU is the new standard for 3D graphics on the web. You can access the WebGPU APIs from JavaScript, C++, or Rust right now. And that includes accessing it from the browser, from Wasm, and on native desktop applications. This means that WebGPU becomes more of a cross-platform interface to writing programs on the GPU that treats the web as a first-class platform. How does WebGPU work? Well, there's the WebGPU API that's spec'd out that's used to create pipeline. And the WGSL language is used to write programs for the GPU. WGPU programs are often called shaders. So in your language of choice, you'll build a pipeline. And that pipeline can be either a render pipeline or a compute pipeline. Render pipelines are what you probably consider shaders. They include the ability to write vertex shaders that modify the position of vertices, as well as fragment shaders that modify the color of a particular pixel on the screen. These vertex and fragment shaders are what people typically think of when they say shaders. Compute pipelines, on the other hand, allow more direct access to the GPU's programming resources. You can pass some arbitrary data in and get some arbitrary data out using the exceedingly parallel processing of the GPU to power things like world generation, pathfinding, or even entire 2D rendering engines like Velo. The WGSL programs you pass to the pipelines look a little bit like a cutdown version of Rust, with types like F32 and I32 for numbers, and VEX or structs for more complicated data structures. And while working with WebGPU is one option, the more likely option is you're going to use a higher level library for interacting with these WebGPU APIs. This is where we start talking about Rust and where the WGPU crate comes in. The WGPU crate is widely used and powers game engines like Bevy, 2D rendering engines like Velo, GUI platforms like eGUI, production games like Valoran and Tiny Glade, as well as creative coding environments like Nanu, and of course, more than that. It's safe to say that if you're doing graphics programming in Rust and you're not using WGPU, you've probably made a mistake. WGPU is actually a collection of crates that provide a cross-platform user-facing Rust API that mirrors the WebGPU spec. This means you can write pipeline code in Rust, shader code in WGSL, and compile that to Wasm or run natively on your desktop. WGPU Core is even used in Firefox itself to support WebGPU on the web. And even Dino uses WGPU. WGPU in general builds on WGPU HAL, which is a hardware abstraction layer for graphics APIs. This means that WGPU supports multiple backends like DX12, Vulkan, Metal, and more. The WGPU crate then is the entry point to a vast array of industry grade functionality beyond just the WebGPU spec. And it should come as no surprise at this point that Bevy, a game engine written in Rust, uses WGPU heavily to power its own game engine. Bevy has also done this since the inception of the project and has grown alongside WGPU and the WGSL spec. Which brings us to the point of this video. The necessary fixes for compiling Bevy apps to WebGPU have landed. This work was done by Francois Mockers, one of the Bevy maintainers, and will be available publicly in the 0.11 release. This brings the ability to build cross-platform games using modern GPU features like compute shaders to the Bevy game engine, while allowing WGPU to pick the right or best option for a graphics layer to power running each of those games on each of those platforms. Interestingly, Bevy also supports extensions to WebGPU, and WGPU, the crate and ecosystem, view these extensions favorably. These are features like ray tracing, bindless rendering, or augmented or virtual reality. So the only question left is, does it work? Well, if you have Chrome 113, you can pop on over to the WebGPU examples hosted on the bevyengine.org site. The examples here will only run if you have WebGPU enabled, so that means you need to have either Chrome 113 or the necessary flags enabled in your browser of choice. And if you don't have those enabled, then you'll probably just see a blank window. WebGPU truly seems like the future of programming graphics on the web, and as Bevy and WGPU are proving, potentially the future of cross-platform graphics as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.